Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carbro. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Twitch bot in Python for your Twitch channel. The intro is just getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> uh, maybe by episode... Maybe I'll get it on the final episode, we'll see. That's something to look forward to. But until then, um, we're actually working on uh, kind of making the commands uh, interpreter more advanced. So I was talking about that in episode 2 when you originally did commands. This is the episode we're doing it. We're doing um, uh, aliases and cooldowns um, in this one. So we need to be in our init function. And um, we're going to be making a lot of changes to this. Um, again, we're going to be using more object oriented programming. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this if you don't want cooldowns or aliases and that. Um, so if you don't want any of that, you can actually just skip this video pretty much completely. Um, but if you do want to, if you do want to do that, or you're just curious and stick around, um, the first thing we're going to need to do is actually create a class called what well, I'm going to call command, uh, which is going to inherit from object. Basically, that just means it's an object. Woo. Um, you don't even need to do that. You could just do like that, but I just prefer to have it in. Um, and then have our def in it, and we're going to pass self, we're also going to take callables funk equals none uh, I don't necessarily know why I've done that, oh well and then cooldown equals it, I don't know why I've done funk equals none in the plan oh I know why because I, I wrote it differently that's fine, we don't we don't actually need to do funk equals none because we, we, we do need to take a funk um, yeah uh, so it's self dot callables equals callables, self dot funk equals funk, self dot cooldown equals cooldown, and we're also going to set a self dot next use, and we're going to instantiate that as just time, because uh, just so we have something instantiated, <laughs> and time isn't going to affect anything. So callables is a list of, of callables you can use. Um, uh, function is the uh, funk is obviously the function. The cooldown is the 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 cooldown period in seconds, and then next use is the one that gets is the one that actually gets checked against. Um, so you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So we're actually going to change commands completely. We're going to leave that one. That, we're actually going to comment this one out, and we're actually going to create something brand new because we're going to create a list instead because we don't need a dictionary if we're using objects. Um, so we're going to need a list of command objects, of course we've only got the one at the moment. Um, so we have our command here, the first, uh, uh, the first uh, argument, that's the one, is a, is a list of callables, so we actually need to make a list out of this. Um, so we're doing hello, and then we're going to say you can invoke that hello command by hi or hey. This is the same hello command, um, you don't have to worry about that. And then misc dot hello will be the command, and then cooldown. Uh, we're going to set as fifteen just for testing sake, I suppose, just so I can show you what the cooldown is like. Uh, the process command is actually staying the same. It's the perform command that's going to be very different. Um, so the perform command is going to actually get pretty much a rewrite, I think. Yeah. So we're just going to get rid of all of this. Um, more or less, and we're going to start again. So if call, so we're we going to check for these first, the help command first this time. Um, so if we're going to help, and then commands, and then we'll say commands as well. Um, so that's a list of aliases for the help command, basically. Uh, misc dot help, bot prefix commands. We're going to be changing the help command slightly to support aliases. Um, we're going to do that in a bit. If that's not the case. Um, why have I done call? Oh, because I, I actually changed this to call this time. Instead of a command, we're taking something called call. So this is a little bit more... Um, this is essentially, we need to iterate through the commands, and we're going to be using the command name for that as well. But because these are callables, it just makes sense to have a call in here, because you're calling the command. Uh, so we iterate through our command objects. And if our call is in command.callables, um, if the current time is greater than, so if we're in the future, then cmd.nextUse, which is the first time we call it, we always will be, um, we run the function, 
Uh, so we do our command object and then dot the func, dot uh, user and an argument, so that will work exactly the same. And then command dot next use will be set to time plus command dot cooldown. So in this case, it will be the present time plus 15 seconds. Um, and then else, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, so if the cooldown is still in effect, we just need to send a message saying uh, that cooldown still in effect. Try uh, again in, and then let me just find the formula I've used. Uh, oh, we'll just we'll just copy and paste it. <laughs> I'm a little easy. All right, shut up. Uh, so. Yeah, so command on next use minus time, uh, and that will give us the amount of seconds um, until the comma can be next used. We're just uh, doing this. Uh, there's another thousand separated here because I like them, and then we're rounding it to zero decimal places. So we're basically just using it as an integer, and then seconds, and then after that we can return, I believe, because we don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, and then uh, we return off the back of that, and then. In, inside the else but outside the for uh, we send bot dot send message so, so basically if the, if the command isn't run um, if the command is run it will never get to this point but uh, yeah and then we have the same message as before we just use call instead of command this time for funsies um, so that is our new uh, com command performer it's Works. Uh, let's. I don't know why I said that. I was trying to. I was trying to think of something to say there. I couldn't remember what I was going to. So, not getting errors is a good thing. Um, apparently, I've minimised Twitch as well. That's nice. Uh, now online. So if you say help, uh, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hey, super Twitch. If you put hi, cool does the effect. Try again. Eleven seconds. Hey. Seven seconds. Test. Still, we'll say uh, test. Just wait in a few more seconds. That should be enough. There we go. And then it runs again. Um, so yeah, that uh, using these objects here, we yeah. For, where's the file? There it is. Um, we now have aliases and we now have a cooldown system as well. Uh, I will say that at this current point in this in this thing, we are going to change this in a future episode um, again. To be a little better, um, uh, this is a slightly more rudimentary implementation of a cooldown system, because if you say have a command with validation and the validation tells it to be wrong, so say you have like a, I don't know, a betting command, you need to set the bet to either yes or no, for example. Um, if uh, there is some sort of error with what you put, so if you put like bet test or something, it's not a valid option, the cooldown will still activate. <laughs> Um, and you won't be able to, to do it again. So in a future episode, I'll be showing you how to make that not a thing. Or how to actually set... Oh, I just realised that comma's in the wrong place. Um, how to actually set the cooldown pretty much manually inside the command to actually fire when it's completed. Um, but for now, this just kind of works. Uh, the next thing we're going to do in this is actually modify the help command so we can get the aliases to work. Um, if you don't want aliases in the help command, you do not need to continue. Actually, you do because we need to change the help command anyway. Um, so this is now wrong. This uh, this won't work. Um, so it's now it's now somewhat more complicated. Uh, it's, same, it's roughly the same sort of thing. Um, but yeah. So bot dot send message uh, registered commands. And then we're going to actually put this on a new line because it's quite long. I actually put that down there. Um, and then we're using the same dot join. Make a list. Uh, F string prefix uh, command. Oops, I hope if I use the right type of braces. Callables. And then we need to get the zeroth element of that. Uh, for command in commands uh, for command in commands uh, so that will go through every command and basically print everything out 
Uh, you may notice that this isn't sorted, and that's because the sorting is a lot more complicated now. Um, if you don't want it sorted, then you don't need to do anything else. But if you do want it sorted, then you, you need to do this. I will say that uh, this won't print out any of the aliases. We're going to make another one, uh, another one, uh, another, another message that does print out all the aliases in a second, but I just want to get this out of the way first. So to actually sort these commands now, we need to do sorted um, commands. And if you don't understand what this means, uh, you can ask in the Discord, don't ask in the comments. I'm not explaining lambdas in the bloody comments. Um, a key lambda and then cmd. Oh, that's, I put that in the wrong place. And then cmd.callables0. So essentially, what that is doing is it's is it's taking the first callable, which is kind of the main um, command name, and using that as the key to sort the commands. Um, if you don't know what the lambda thing does, I'm not going to be the one to explain it. If you join the Discord, um, someone will find uh, some documentation for you to go through. I'm sure, again, I, I reference Zentex again, I'm sure he's done a video on it at some point. Um, I only barely understand lambdas, but I sort of understand. I, I get how that's working, pretty much. Um, but yeah, actually sorting is a bloody nightmare, so that is completely optional, so don't worry about it. Um, to actually get one where we have the aliases, we need to do uh, a little bit. It's more or less the same thing, um, uh, but it's a little different. Uh, nope, there we go. And then dot join f string uh, prefix what the okay I just saw that in the OBS window I thought my screen had gone wrong then um, yeah and then we're gonna use a slash to to separate the aliases um, and then we're gonna use another join <laughs> command dot callables um, for CMD in and then we're gonna sort them again because why the hell not why not just make it obscenely complicated? Uh, so what I was doing is it's adding the prefix and then it's going through the callables and doing the same thing as it's doing to the slash that all this is doing to this. Um, I will quickly show you because trying to explain this is going to be a nightmare. Uh, so if you want to help command, there will be two messages coming up. Uh, so one of which uh, register commands hello, it does exactly the same thing. And another register commands including aliases estimation mark hello slash hi slash hey so it's basically denoting that we can do hi and uh, it will do the same command as it has done before um, so that's how you can get your aliases into your help command that's how you can get aliases and cooldowns into your commands and stuff um, uh, if you like the video say hello down below uh, I'm actually starting to lose my mind a bit so I think I'll call the recordings there for today I've been going for like two hours and it's I think I'm gonna die. Um yeah, if you like the video say hello down below. Uh if you have any questions then leave them down below as well. If you want you can put them in the Discord too. That's the, the, the link to join that is in the description below. You can tell I'm genuinely losing the ability to speak right now. Um And uh, if you're liking the series so far, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you know when the next video in the series goes out. And I'll see you next time for, drumble please, the economy system. Um, so we're going to work with our economy. We're going to add coins and stuff to, to things. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, that video will be out tomorrow. If it's not quite, it's that I didn't have time to record it because I'm going to end the recording session here. But hopefully it will be, so we'll see. If it's not, it will be out in the next few days. Um, so I will see you, I guess, whatever I see. <laughs> yeah, see you later.